Welcome to the channel. This is me Harish Kondo. In this video, we are going to update MicroPython firmware to Pico W and we start blinking an LED on this particular project. That is just like a hello world in microcontrollers. First, you need to download MicroPython firmware for the Raspberry Pi Pico W. You can simply use any browser and search for Raspberry Pi Pico. I used here Brave as my browser. I got multiple options here. I am going with the search result from the raspberry pi.com url raspberry pi.com slash product slash raspberry pi pico with find out more option so if you scroll down little bit you can find the sdk for c or c plus plus program and micropython option is here so micropython that's what we are looking for so just click on this micro python then it will navigate to another page there are multiple options are given drag and drop micro python option you can see there is you can have uf2 file raspberry pi pico and pico w is there so we need to download for the raspberry pi pico w just click on that it will start downloading in few seconds going to save in my downloads it has downloaded right now next we need tony go to the website called tony.org based upon your operating system download and just install i have already downloaded and installed the tony id so let me open that i am just configuring tony i am going with standard tony has loaded by default python programming we need to change that i need to connect pico to laptop press the boot cell button that is very first step hold it and connect to your laptop and release the boot cell button now you can find a new folder with the name of raspberry pi rpi rp2 rp pico w uh, uf2 file is there i need to just drag and drop this one into this host device which is showing here symbol i am just dragging and dropping this that's it things are completed just close this I can uh, detach this Pico and reconnect. So this time we will not use the boot cell button because this time we need to interact over the USB on the serial monitor. So we no need that. Now again I am coming to the Tony. Now I can go to tools, options, again pico is there so i can select pico then it shows com device so for the case of windows mac it will be different select it click on ok so the python 3.7 will be now changed with the micro python now micro python has loaded from our raspberry pi pico w you can see when it is what is a version and everything has mentioned here Let's start with very basic project. I can directly use the shell option. Here this untitled, this is the entire area where we can write the code. And this is a REPL part. Here you can see on the shell. So the program, whatever I write on this three chaverings, it's instantly going to run from my, my micro Python device that is Raspberry Pi Pico W. So I'll get the instant output. I'll do some basic math. 6 by 9 instantly I got the answer is 15 I can use the very basic Python uh, syntax also so to print something print uh, my bad the spelling is wrong so I plan to have hello world let's let's Yeah. So hello world is just printed so it's working nicely now our main aim is to blink this led that's to access the peripherals i can type the code on this shell but instead of that i like to go with this untitled area so we can save the file and all and here the problem is that i am not able to see the files on the raspberry pi pico and go to view option what are the parts we needed 
on our ID, we can select it from here and in the files. So I can have this option. So the files, library, everything is visible. Yeah. Files on my Raspberry Pi Pico. Okay. Now let's start coding. The pin controls are from machine. So I need to import that modules for that. If I need to blink this LED, I need the time also. Going to import machine and type from two functions, pin and sleep. Now Python is an object oriented program. So everything we consider as an object. This LED is also going to be created as an object and we are passing its features or we call it as parameters to the object. I can name anything for this object. Just going to name it as LED underscore OBJ. You can name anything. Now we need to say that, okay, this object is related to machine from that. It's we are going to use pin, which pin we are going to use. And this pin is an input or output. We are going to access machine from we are going to access pin. Then this function needs some parameters. First parameter is the pin number, but this is Raspberry Pi Pico W. Normally, if you use Raspberry Pi Pico, the default pin that connected to inbuilt LED is pin number 25. So in that case, normally we need to give 25. But here, this is Raspberry Pi Pico W. In this case, the onboard LED is connected to this 5A chip. So we can't directly access with a pin number, but instead we can simply use single quote or double quote we mention led in capital letters it automatically identify that this is an onboard led so we no need to worry about the pin number and all the micro python automatically understood and it will access the onboard led connected to the wi-fi chip comma so we have given the pin that we need to access right now that is an onboard led now we need to say that it's an input or output. So I said that pin dot out. Enter. Now I need to make it on or off. It's very easy. We created the object to make it on and off. Call the object with on or off. dot on this is the way i can uh, make the led to be on i need to run this project so i can use this script option it will ask where i need to save this code i can save to raspberry pi pico maybe you can save to computer also not an issue name anything so i just give it as blink we will change it to uh, blink code and always give us an extension as dot py after that you can click on ok you can see the onboard led is right now on fully made the onboard led on if i need to make it off i have to say that led underscore obj dot off so let's uh, look into how we can make it blink i need to use a loop while loop it's always true I can keep so that it becomes infinite so now this is going to be an infinite loop after full colon I can go to the next line in Python we have indentation instead of opening and closing curly brackets so it's very important in Python indentation here I can make the lead to be on and off So this line makes the LED to be on Then I need to say that how much how long the LED need to be open LED need to be on sleep time mostly we give in sleep seconds 0 0.5 seconds so it looks better when it started blinking now I need to make it off 
how long it need to be off again i can give 0.5 second that's it code has been completed so i need to upload this code that's the next part upload this code now we have successfully completed the project you can see the onboard led of raspberry pi pico is started blinking with the 0.5 seconds delay see you on the next video thank you